In Galactic Civilizations 4, space is divided up into sectors to avoid the problem of constantly running through empty space. You start in a sector, you go to another sector, and then there's a big center in the middle of the galaxy. But to travel between sectors, you go through something called the subspace stream. Each sector has a limited number of entry and exit points. And the ships traveling between these subspace streams are actually moving at about three times the normal pace and they can move even faster if you get certain upgrades but this system allows you to have more compact games with more action in them without a bunch of dead space taking up all of the attention of the player there is a limit to how far your ships can travel from the locations that you've already habitized. And it's represented by this line here. Normal ships can't pass that. When you go into a new sector, it has a little bit of a ring that you can get into, which is represented by the ellipse. All sectors are actually round. But the ellipse represents how far your ships can initially travel. And you might have to build a star base here if you wanted to expand further into the galaxy. Probes come with a probe module, which makes them immune to range. So they can travel far beyond and explore all of the sectors in the game. This makes them much more useful than they were in previous games where you could just conduct your research with other ships. When you send a probe to a sector, it will continue to dart around a path clearing all of the unexplored space in that sector. After it has completed its exploration of a sector, it has a tendency to keep going over the same space. If you want to send one of your probes out to explore a new sector, simply click on the probe and then zoom out until you see these big dots. I presume that they are large stars that would show up in our telescopes. And you just click the area around them. It's a sector you haven't discovered yet and your probe will automatically find the slipstream that will take it over to that objective. Some civilizations start the game with the ability to detect subspace streams and travel on them. And they will have the starfaring ability next to them. You can customize any civilization you want to come with starfaring if you think that would be convenient for you. If you're playing as a civilization that doesn't have starfaring, it's actually easy to get to. Just click on your research center and click on the new sections thing and go to focus on engineering. And you'll have something along the lines of anomaly detection. Just read the leads to section. If you see subspace scanning coming up next, that means you'll scan it and then after that you'll be able to travel on them. So it's pretty easy to get to, but you may have to click the focus on engineering tab to find the researches that you need. Thank you for watching another episode of SS Street Fighter. Leave a like, leave a comment, and click subscribe to join the Street Fighter Army. I'd also like to send a thank you to my Patreon supporters, Charles and Nancy.